What's up guys, Chameleon here, and today I'm playing some more God of War 3. I can't get enough of this game, this game is ridiculous, it is just amazing. Um, this is the second boss battle, it's Hades, and I'm not gonna lie, this boss battle was ridiculous. I, I, I had a lot of trouble beating this guy, because, um, you know, again, you have to figure out the pattern, and then that's when, you know, the boss battle becomes kinda easy. But until you figure out the pattern of the boss, you're pretty much screwed. So, this is the first stage. Now, this is like a 10 minute boss battle, just so you guys know. This is probably going to be a long video, but I hope you guys uh, bear with me on this. So, at the beginning, he's pretty much just using three main attacks. He's going to stomp on you, or he's going to try and use his chain, or he'll go up top like that and just fall down. So, when he tries to do with his uh, chains or whatever, you want to block that. If he tries to stomp on you, you're going to roll away because you can't block that. And anytime he goes up, I suggest you know just whipping out your bow and shooting at him. So I'm pretty much just trying to do that. And once you get his life kind of low, he starts to change up his attack. But um, you know he's pretty much dead. Just use a nice little magic spell to finish him off. This is a nice little cutscene. You're basically just ripping off his armor, his flesh armor, whatever the hell it is. And do not let that piece of meat <laughs> go back to that guy. This guy apparently likes meat. I mean, this says a lot of fun. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so all you gotta do is just hold L1, hit square. Kratos does that little spin chain combo or whatever. Knocks out all the hands and the piece of meat goes flying. This part always screws me because you don't know where that one safe spot's gonna be. So you gotta just run and try and figure out where it is. But... I actually ended up dying on that try, so that's why you guys see that little cut. Um, but yeah, this is part gets a little more difficult. He's a he seems like he's a lot more aggressive, and you know, but he is still using pretty much the same attacks, so you can just figure it out. See, there's a stomp. You just gotta move away. I don't even get how that hit me because I rolled back, but I guess it wasn't quick enough. So I pretty much just keep doing the same combos. I try not to use triangle too much because. When you hit triangle, um, it kicks off a stronger combo, but the problem with the stronger combo is that it's a bit slower, and sometimes when you're in a combo, you really need to like break that combo and try and dodge, dodge an attack that he throws at you, so I like to stick with square, just hit square a few times, and then maybe roll away, and um, right around here, I was getting kind of uh, worried because I started slacking, I wasn't really dodging his attacks, so I was just trying to... Like, you know, just hack away, go crazy, because I thought he was close to being dead, but I guess I was wrong, <laughs> so he actually throws me right here, I have literally, look at my life, I have like one hit left, and I don't know how, I'm actually still alive, but I finally uh, do enough damage, bring him down to the second stage of this stupid flesh fiasco, whatever the hell it is, so I hack away at his chest, rip off another piece, and again, I follow that same thing. Just hold L1, hit square, Kratos does that spinny thingy, and the good thing is that this recharges your life, so it kind of gives you a nice little fresh start. Um, it doesn't recharge your magic though, so you're kind of screwed with that. Here he does the same thing, the chains. Luckily I was uh, close to where it was actually going to be, so I didn't get hit this time, and I figured I'd just start shooting with my bow. I don't know if it actually does any damage when the chains are there, but, you know, what the hell, might as well, you know? <laughs> So, I figured uh, I would just go all out and start using god mode, because I really didn't want to go through this again. I mean, at this point, this is probably like my fourth or fifth try, and it's really annoying, because this boss was tough. He was a pain in the ass. So I go in god mode, just went crazy, just hacking away, and he's still doing that same stupid move where he's jumping up like a monkey and falling down. Um, I pretty much uh, just go ahead and use all my magic, and... I'm hoping this guy is almost dead, because at this point, I'm kind of tired, you know. This boss battle has already been like 5 minutes long, and I think it goes on to 10 minutes, so it's pretty uh, hectic. Because you're just pressing so many buttons, like right here, I'm pressing circle like 50 million times, and then you're pressing L1, R1, you're pressing all these crazy buttons. Um, that's probably actually one of my favorite things about God of War. I mean, although it's tiring and stuff, it's very engaging. You don't just sit back and fight a boss. You're going like crazy. You're pounding down all these buttons and whatnot. So it's um it's pretty good. 
I mean, it, it keeps you from getting bored, because I know a lot of times you can just sit there laying back and playing games, but not with this game, not at all. <laughs> that also might be because I am playing on Titan mode, and playing on Titan is pretty hardcore. It's not at all easy, so... This is uh, the third stage now, and here he starts using this new attack where he's throwing these ghosts at you, these ghosts, uh, what, they look like service, or three-headed uh, dog thing, whatever, and um, another thing he uses is that he starts whipping uh, his chains around, and whenever he does that, that's when uh, he's gonna stick them in the ground, and then these chains just come flying up, and all you gotta do is run away or dodge them. I pretty much just ran up right behind him, and just started chaining combos and just hacking away at him. And finally, I did enough damage where I just got into another cutscene. And look, Kratos is a monster. <laughs> He's just hacking away at the guy's head, sticking his blades in. <laughs> I think Kratos is probably the last person in the world who I would want to piss off because this guy is vicious. I mean, throughout the game, some of the stuff he does is just <laughs> ridiculous. But. So right here, this is the fourth part of uh, this long, 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 long <laughs> boss battle. And I actually hated this part. This part really pissed me off because you basically got to do a bunch of things at once. You have to dodge this guy's attacks. You have to be hitting him at the same time. And this guy randomly will pull you towards the cliff. So you would have to start tapping circle like crazy just so you don't fall. And you have to keep repeating this process without dying. Uh, I tried, uh, you know, using triangle a few times, but again, it's tough to use slow combos on bosses because they usually just hit you right away. But as long as uh, you hit this guy a few times, kind of roll away from his attacks, hit circle here and there, you should be able to beat him. It's just uh, really annoying, but once you get the gist of it, it's not. I mean, uh, it's not too difficult. So, right around here, Hades' life is pretty low. Uh, I just continued the uh, hitting and dodging a few more times, and he, of course, continues to pull me in randomly. But, you know, after a good while, I finally, finally get his life down, and I hit circle, and of course, he pulls me down again, because he's a bastard like that. So, now I hit circle, and it starts uh, the next cutscene. Chris throws his blade right in his, like, face, and it's awesome. So somehow your chain gets tangled up with Hades' chains and I don't know, somehow <laughs> Kratos creates this pulley kind of thing where you just keep pulling them up and he keeps smashing into the ceiling and you do that a good amount of times till Hades is finally gone and the game's over or the boss battle is over and you know you can finally relax but you know obviously that's too good to be true because they drop these random enemies here but the good thing is you get to test out Hades weapons and they're actually pretty badass I'm not gonna lie um, I still prefer the default weapons just cause you know I've always used those in God of War 1, 2 and I feel like I shouldn't be using them in 3 and look who comes back even uglier than before Hades this guy does not go away now I hope you guys understand why this boss battle is so long and especially on Titan difficulty it's just crazy so for this part, all I was doing is that I was actually using triangle this time around because he's kind of slow in reacting to you, so you can just hack away with Adam with triangle, get some nice combos going, and then what I would do is anytime he got kind of dazed or whatever, I would just hit R1, it would pull me over to the opposite side, and I would just continue hacking away with triangle until he got dazed again, and you know just keep doing that. All you really gotta do is just watch out for any time he winds back, because he's gonna come down at you, you just roll away. Don't try to block it, I don't think you can, it'll probably still do damage to you. And after doing that long enough, he starts another cut sequence or whatever. Cut scene, cut sequence, whatever the hell you wanna call it. So you just uh, hit these buttons, and you actually end up pulling out Hades' soul with his own weapons. He's throwing salt in the wound. <laughs> but once you do this, Hades is finally dead, and now this boss battle is pretty much over, and I can finally shut up, because <laughs> my throat is actually dry from this, that's what she said, and I'm going to go grab a glass of water and head to bed. Peace.